What's up, everyone, and welcome to the first episode of Com Chatter. This is an experiment I'm going to try out. I've obviously been having a ton of fun in Star Wars Squadrons. I want to play with uh, everybody, and I figured it could be a fun, different, unique spin on a Star Wars podcast. So uh, every episode, I'm going to have one to, I guess, four guests uh, join me in a game, and we're just going to talk about Star Wars and life, mostly Star Wars. But uh, today, I have uh, two members of the Star Wars Squadron's dev team. Uh, that are going to join me and talk about their experiences working on the game, maybe give us some tips. Uh, they definitely give us some tips, so uh, you might want to check that part out. Uh, it's it's a great conversation. I would love to hear what you think of this format. I would love to know what you think of this format, maybe some ideas for the future. I already have some more guests lined up, some people that I am very excited about. Uh, but yeah, just enjoy the first episode of Com Chatter with uh, Mitch Dyer and Mel Ramsden. So here we are with Mitch Dyer and Melissa Ramsden. How is it going, guys? Pretty good. good. I like that we both, just, we both did the tea thing at the same uh. time. Oh. <laughs> cheers. Yes, cheers. Lovely. Yes, very good. Awesome. I'm so excited to talk to both of you about Star Wars and about Squadrons. Um, but yeah, the, the point of this is to just hang out. We'll, we'll fly around. We'll fly casual. We'll chit-chat. We'll have some fun. Um, I, I would like to just warm up a little bit, if that's all right. We can do, like, a oh, yeah. fight against some AI. Yeah, oh, let's totally. set our, okay. our standards a little lower <laughs> as we begin, and then we'll work our way up. I'm even going to put it on easy. Nice. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, already, <laughs> I'm already bad at multitasking, so the second we get put into a thing, I'm going to, like, drift off in the middle of a question. <laughs> uh, but I do want to get to know... Uh, a little bit about like both of your starts in Star Wars, uh, your fandom a little bit. Um, so what what was that like? What got you into Star Wars in the first place? You go for it, Mitch. You go first. Me? Mitch, okay. is, Mitch is way more interesting than me. <laughs> Definitively not true. Uh, <laughs> so my my fandom always, uh, I, the thing I always come back to is this moment when I came home from like after school or something and my dad was watching a movie. And he's like, hey, why don't you come sit down and watch Star Wars with me? And because I was a really cool, tough guy, I was like, ugh, Star Wars sucks. I'd never seen it. I just thought it was like, I'm defying my dad. That's cool. <laughs> uh, so I was like, I'm not going to watch this. And he's like, S shut up. Just sit down, watch the movie. It's a good time. And we watched The Empire Strikes Back. It changed my life forever. Uh, and now it's like, the part of the reason I took the job, now I'm like fast forwarding, Part of the reason I took the job to, to write Battlefront 2 initially, I worked on the campaign for Battlefront 2 and wrote, wrote that story with Walt Williams. Part of the reason I took that job, besides <laughs> it sounded great, was I wanted to write a Star Wars story for my dad, right? Like he introduced mm -hmm. me to Star Wars, I'd like to write a story, and then he can play that story, and now he has, and he loves it, and it's great. And now I'm getting to kind of double dip, because I did it again with Squadrons, working with uh, Joe Barry and Walt Williams again. We made the campaign for this game. Uh, and my dad's playing it now, and he's texting me about it, and it's a, it's always a very weird, surreal feeling. Aww. Um, yeah, but I was just, like, a, a, a regular old Star Wars fan for a long time, right? Like, I just, I watched the movies, I liked the TV shows, I tried to keep up with whatever elements of fandom there were. Like, I had heard about this celebration thing for a while, and, uh, listened to a bunch of podcasts for a long time. Uh, and then discovered, among many other channels, your YouTube channel. Well, I think probably before working on the game, but uh, certainly it was imperative while working on the game to keep up with everything going on that I couldn't keep up with. I mean, that makes me feel very good. I'm <laughs> glad I could help in some small way. Mm -hmm. How about you, Mel? Uh, that's me. Uh, well, my, both of my parents are huge nerds, uh, and they don't they don't fully realize it. I don't think because <laughs> one of my earliest memories of of uh, our Christmas like tradition was my dad had brought home the VHS like box set of the original trilogy in the late nineties. And we would watch it every Christmas. It was like a big deal where my parents would sit down and be like, okay, we're going to watch A New Hope. You're going to love it. No. The second one's going to be your favorite. And it was. Because <laughs> uh, the, the snow monster. Um, and they <laughs> like we would we would watch like Star Wars. And my parents also love Star Trek and other, other kinds of things. So I kind of grew up around it. And I always just appreciated it. It's like, yeah, it's a cool thing. It's cool. I like Star Wars. It's awesome. And then, you know. Uh, growing up, I reached adolescence and everything, and the prequels started coming out, and there's so many opinions going around. I was completely immune to it because we didn't have the internet. Opinions <laughs> right. everywhere. 
Yep. So, so we just like, I just enjoyed it for what it was. And then, uh, had my own like swing of like, oh, these movies I think might be bad. And then I reached my twenties and I was like, no, they're ironically, I like them. And now I just fully like them. Unironic. I like all the Star Wars. <laughs> Um, I, I went through a very similar kind of trajectory of yeah, right. like, yeah, you hit your twenties and you're like, oh, they're not real Star Wars, and then, but like secretly you're like, oh, but that Darth might that Darth Maul fight's really cool. Exactly, <laughs> and it just like, all comes back. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like you know, I started to think critically about media around my like late teens, early twenties, and then I started to come around of like, oh, I can, I can, I can recognize something that has flaws and still enjoy it for what it does for me, and like that was a huge thing. And then, like, career-wise, I was working at Bioware Montreal on uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. And then after that shift, there was an opportunity to work on Star Wars Battlefront 2 at Motive. And, I, and the, basically, my boss was like, do you want to? And I was like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> I would very much like to. Um, and yes, it, please, the Star Wars. Yes, please. <laughs> and then I pretty much just rolled right off of that onto, onto Squadrons, because we... Like, we had begun, like, trying out prototypes and stuff pretty soon after Battlefront 2 ship, so we were just like, yeah, let's just keep going, let's keep this train, keep this train going. That's uh, not a saying, but you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a conveyx in Star Wars, I believe. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I, I like that you already mentioned the Wampa, uh, which <laughs> is such a... I, one of my favorite things to ask people is, what's your favorite, like, behind-the-scenes... Uh, like mo more of a background character. Who's your favorite non-main character in Star Wars? Oh, oh yeah, mm. probably probably Rancor for me, actually. Aww, that's really? A good answer. I like that boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and why? Uh, it's just a cool monster. <laughs> good Ralph McQuarrie design. So, yeah, I just I love the way he looks. <laughs> so you're really into like the monsters, the creatures of Star Wars? Oh, very much so. That's that's I think arguably one of aside from the ships. Like the big capital ships, because that was—I mean—that was my main focus working on st squadrons, which was a dream come true. Because I'm obsessed with giant machine ships and giant monsters. Like those are my two favorite things in, like, fantasy, sci-fi world stuff. So that was like a huge treat. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> Mitch, what's your favorite like D-list character? Probably Sebulba. <laughs> I wow, love I've never heard that one. Yeah, he. I, and it occurred to me just as I was thinking about it. Just he's such a devious, lecherous little monster, uh, <laughs> and he's conniving and he's angry and he's very selfish and he's getting massages and eating nice treats and beating up Gungans like <laughs> he's trying to kill children on a racetrack. Like <laughs> that guy's got stuff going on for sure. Like there's layered storytelling to be had there. <laughs> he's pretty unique. He's a unique guy. He's a unique dude. He's a uniquely twisted individual. Oh, don't crash. I crashed. Oh, well. <laughs> Against my better judgment, I'm chasing someone into the storm. Don't do that. <laughs> That's every time I go in there, I'm like, they'd be crazy to follow me, and then I die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like that Arrested Development meme of like, that never works for anybody, but it but might work. Maybe for us. this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Everyone always asks, you know, like, what's your favorite Star Wars movie? But I, I want to kind of mix it up a little bit. What's your favorite Star Wars story? It could be a movie, but literally anything out there. If you have to, you can say not Squadrons or Battlefront 2, just, uh... <laughs> oh, man. Uh, no, I mean, like, I love our games, and I'm of very course. proud of our stories. But there's definitely, like, more definitive, uh, like, life-changing kinds of Star Wars stories out there. Uh, for me, things that impact me more. Uh, I mean, I'm trying not to say a movie. Probably you can say a movie. Empire. Probably Air oh, to the yeah. Empire. Yeah, because it was the first, it was kind of my first touch with, uh, like, what could have happened after Return of the Jedi, right? And that's that's why I'm fascinated with this particular era that we're in in Squadron's End. I just, I'm really interested in the idea that... Yeah. Oh! Uh-oh. <laughs> We've lost Mitchell. <laughs> he flew into the storm. <laughs> well. Well. Oh, no. Look. Oh, you're back, kind of. Sorry, I don't know what's going on. I'm a robot. Yeah, it's uh, breaking up okay here and now. there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's sad. Mel, you take over. Sure, I'll I'll go. <laughs> I don't know if it counts because uh, I haven't quite finished the story yet. Uh, but 
Uh, last year I started reading, and I'm very slow at finishing books, but I started reading uh, Queen's Shadow by by E.K. Johnson. Yeah. Uh, and I just, so far, from from where I've gotten in it, I just absolutely love, like, the camaraderie of the of the characters and how, like, well, I don't know, they all have personalities that I, like, they just are, seem like people I want to be around. <laughs> and I thought, like, I, I've always enjoyed, like, a lot of the just characters from the movies and everything, so seeing... This is one of the first Star Wars books I'd ever started to read, and I was like, man, I just like, I like seeing these other sides of them, and they're fleshed out, and they're all really, like, just well uh, represented, I found. Uh, so I quite, I'm quite i quite enjoying that. I think so far it's been my favorite in terms of feeling really connected to characters and to a story that, that, that like, is important to me. Not that the movies weren't, but, like, this one had, like, a special connection. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I liked that one so much more than I thought I was going to. Right? <laughs> <laughs> The politics, the, the handmaidens, what are they getting up to? Lots of cool stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? Mitch, you sound good now. I'm not seeing your good? webcam, okay, cool. though. Uh, yeah, you oh. might need to turn it back on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. I'll reconnect. Sorry, <laughs> Do your thing. How about yourself? <laughs> oh, mine? Yeah. Um. Recently, I've been in insanely obsessed with uh fallen order oh nice that i man i fell in love with that again it was like something that i i i thought i would enjoy it but uh it, it was a lot more than i was expecting um outside of that it's honestly like the x-wing books from back in the day oh nice the, the stack full <laughs> alston books uh i read those so many times and I've always <laughs> loved pilots. I mean, uh, my my love for Biggs and Wedge and. Uh, Are you a Biggs fan? Uh, yeah, I I try to keep that under wraps, but. <laughs> big secret. Big, big, big secret. secret. Ah, it was right there. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Mitch. I had to do the it. Camera back. I'm sorry. Oh. oh. <laughs> uh, what do y'all have inside your cockpit for flare? Right now. Oh, I think that shoot. Uh, this loadout has nothing because it's new. Um, but you were talking yeah. such a big game pre-launch about the Ewoks. I have Tugtar. I have Tugtar. All right. Uh, Tug I promise. I promise. I I'm trying out a new build. Oh lord. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also like the Gonk droid. Oh, <laughs> uh, the Gonk is so good. I love so that. Cute. I love that it's the only one that's on both Imperial and. Uh, <laughs> New Republic side, it's like, yeah, everyone loves gonk droids. Of course. Uh, What's not I've, to love? <laughs> I've completely fallen in love with the medical droid as a, oh, as right. a hanging flare, because it was one that I had not, uh, like, I never saw, like, the final art asset. So when I saw it in game, I was like, oh, there it is. There, Like, I, we talked about it, but I hadn't seen it. There it is. And I was so delighted to find out this thing has, like, full physics on it so when you yeah. boost his little springy arms just go all the way forward and all the way back and he's getting bounced around it's amazing <laughs> I, I haven't tried that one yet so i'll have to i'll have to oh, throw him in there it's good it's good i'm just howling like an idiot every time i boost it's so <laughs> funny to me so cute we got weak spots uh oh i'm in a reaper yeah. though whoops i forgot <laughs> <laughs> it's like attacking a Star Destroyer. I'll get him, boys. Oh, damn. Power system's down. Targeting's oh. almost down as well. That's good. Here we go. Are we doing that? Are you doing that, Mel? I'm, <laughs> I'm, help I'm trying to help. <laughs> oh, no. I'm, like, I'm over here doing my best against the shield generators, and I'm barely whittling it down, and then I see power systems is gone. Like, who's doing this? <laughs> okay, I'm going to change my targeting to my squadron so I stop attacking the enemy. I, I am so everyone else. bad about that. Uh, <laughs> I cannot stop myself. Like, I'm doing it right now. I'm in an A-Wing, and I'm like, I can get this shield generator. It'll be fine. <laughs> it's not your job! Not I'm doing it! Doing. I'm doing it! I can do it! <laughs> oh, going for weak points? Oh, f <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so Alright, that's bleep number one. Yeah. <laughs> I need a swear yeah, jar yeah. put a dollar in it every time. <laughs> Oh, escape! Little loony. <laughs> a loony, yeah. One Canadian dollar on the jar. One Canada loony, please. Do you have a uh, favorite video games that you played growing up? Star Wars video games specifically. I I only played one Star Wars video game. I didn't own it, 
it was my dad's friend's son's PlayStation game. And so when my dad would go visit his friend, I would try to convince my dad's friend's son to let me play this Jedi game he had on his PlayStation 1. And I have no idea which one it was. Was it Jedi, Jedi Power Battles? Power Battles? <laughs> <laughs> you and I immediately like, we know which one Oh game yeah, is. oh I'm yeah. We're scarred by that game. Uh, <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I loved that game growing up. I did too. Uh, one so... you could play as, uh, you could have the, I'm sorry, I'm blanking on his name, the fellow with the yellow lightsaber. Uh, Plo uh -huh. Plo Koon had the, the yellow one, and then yes. I think Adigalia had a red one or an orange one or something? Yeah. Yes. Uh, was... I loved it, and I never managed to find a copy of my own, but that was like a highlight of whenever frequency my dad would go oh. see his friends, I don't... <laughs> I don't quite remember, but like, when I, I was if occasionally throughout my growing up years, I would get to play this Star Wars game as a treat. And it was just my favorite. <laughs> play a Star Wars game as a treat. Yeah, you can have a little Star Wars uh, as a treat. Yeah, I loved that game despite that game. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> like it was so punishingly difficult. And the moment my friends and I were finally like, or uh, how many? I think it was only two players. My friend yes. Danny and I played it a bunch, but the moment we defeated Darth Maul, we were like, we're done! We never have to play it again! Thank uh, God. My friend growing up had a PS1, so we would play that over and over and over, and we never beat it as kids, and so then, I don't know, like a year into having this channel, I was like, hey, let's do a gameplay video. Let's, like, finally beat Jedi Power Battles, because that was fun. Yeah, that was fun growing up. Let's do it. We can do it now. We're big boys. And it, we, we thought it would be, like, a fun night of gaming, and it wound yeah. up being two insanely frustrating nights. Uh, <laughs> no. it, it was yeah. absurd how hard that game is. The realization you have is that this game was really fun when I had uh, limitless patience and no responsibilities. Exactly. <laughs> and the minute you start considering your mortality, you're like, why am I doing this? I know. <laughs> I could be doing anything else. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. No shade. Oh, that game was a blast. I loved it, but... Dang, it's tough. I think Shadows of the Empire was probably the one for me that I played the most. And oh, again, yeah. it was like, I went to a friend's place. Like, I had the PlayStation, he had the Nintendo. Um, so I just never had Shadows of the Empire. But I love Star Wars, and so much of that game is perfect to me. Like, I'm sure it's miserable to play now because the controls and whatnot. But, like, I still love the way that game looks. I still love the settings of that game. Like, jumping around canyons and finding Boba Fett, shoot stormtroopers off cliffs. Like... Life changing. So good. Loved it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, flying through the asteroid field in kind of the Millennium Falcon. Like, it hit all the Star Wars fantasy stuff without making plays the, the characters, because Dash Rendar is close enough. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like, I. Oh, so much of that game was so cool. Like, the swoop bike races oh, and Tatooine yeah. were so exciting. You're right. That's something I had never really considered, but they do find a way to just get everything in there. It's like, well, we gotta have a yeah, speeder like bike you chase. Straight up through the Battle of Hoth, and it's perfect. Oh no. It's still one of those games where I'm like, or stories where I'm kind of surprised they didn't keep it as part of the canon, just because, like, so yeah. many people of Lucasfilm worked on it, and I kind of wish they, they kept it, but. It's all right. Yeah, and I kind of thought that now that they're doing, like, I think the comics are kind of into the Empire Strikes Back era. Uh-huh. Like, I thought now would be the perfect time to be like, okay, and here's Dash Rendar, Prince Shizor, and, like, all this stuff with the Falling and the Crim... Uh, not Crimson Dawn, sorry, the Black Sun Syndicate. Like, all that stuff is... It's on the fringes of Star Wars now. Like, there's there's definitely... Uh, like, Clone Wars has a few scenes with the Black Sun Syndicates uh, in later seasons, but no Dash. Uh, he was mentioned. He's been mentioned in a canon book, like, uh... Is that true? Yeah, in a reference book. So, Amazing. there is someone named oh my God. Dash Rindar out there, but... A guy. I, uh, I wrote a, uh, pitch. Just for me. But I wrote, like, a book pitch that I... Because I, I... One of my recurring jokes throughout Battlefront's production. Sorry, it's really hard to tell stories and oh, yeah. not die in the game at the same time. Uh... <laughs> This is an You're experimental format for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but my recurring joke to Walt was like, we're gonna do Dash Rendar, man, we're gonna bring him back. Like, nobody cares about Dash Rendar but me, I'm gonna do it, we're gonna bring him back. <laughs> so I wrote like a book pitch about Dash Rendar. Uh, and, and the content of it is shockingly similar to a lot of stuff in The Mandalorian. <laughs> in terms of like, because it was just, it was Lone Wolf and Cub. Uh, was like my biggest inspiration. 
the oh jeez. But I wrote a, a dumb little pitch about Dash and his his force sensitive kid. Ah. Oh, interesting. And him trying to figure out like I gotta get her away from <laughs> these people in the Empire who want her. Huh. I think oh. that's a fun setup. I agree, and very. Unlike Dash Rendar, which is why it would never work. Because <laughs> nobody wants a Dash Rendar story about his kid. Everyone's like, what's not Han Solo doing? Right. <laughs> <laughs> what are slightly worse smugglers up to? I actually had a question uh, similar to that. Was there anyone that, or in, in Battlefront 2 as well, is there any like character or ship or concept that you've been fighting to get into uh, these games? Yeah, I really, really, really wanted to get a Dresselian into the game, but Matt Martin wouldn't let me. <laughs> that sounds like him. No, it's the opposite. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> I know he, he, so he's not in, in on the joke. Matt he, loves Dresselians. He loves Prune I know. Face, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've heard. <laughs> uh, maybe. Like, I feel... There were just so many iterations of uh, Shriv that we went through. We're like, oh, maybe he's this alien. Maybe he's this alien. Just to, like, get, like... Like, I think at one point we concepted him as a Falleen before we even knew hmm. what the character was. It was like, be cool if we had a Falleen, but, you know, you just iterate so much and change so much and things, you just you use what makes the most sense. And having a Duros was perfect. Uh, I'm trying to think, I don't really know, because we, on Battlefront, like, we knew what we wanted to do, so it wasn't like, how do we get Ahsoka to fit in here? Or something? Like, sure. where's Thrawn? <laughs> like, none of that kind of stuff. Like, we really focused on what we thought would be relevant to Aiden's story. And then in Squadrons, we got to do uh, Hera and Wedge involvement mm -hmm. with Vanguard Squadron. And Sloan with Titan. So that was really nice to be able to just, like, dip our fingers into all these different media and, like, we'll take this character and this character in ways that make sense and contribute to a broader story about the New Republic and the Empire. <laughs> Super stoked about that. <laughs> um... But I, I genuinely can't think of like, oh yeah, we were gonna, we wanted to bring back Ba, but we couldn't. Yeah. Um, and I kind of glazed over this. I should have brought this up at the start, but uh, Mitch was a writer for Battlefront Two and uh, Star Wars Squadrons, and uh, Mel, you were technical designer. Uh, I was a technical you... designer on on Squadrons, and I was a level designer on Battlefront Two. <laughs> can you explain what that means? Because I actually <laughs> <laughs> sure try. <laughs> um, so it, it's a. Uh... Again, uh, technical design is kind of uh, very studio to studio. Uh, at Motive, it kind of uh, referred to a little bit of systems design and a little bit like kind of gameplay design and a little bit of tool design uh, and building. So it was a lot of uh, coming up with designs for uh, like features and then working with the gameplay programmers to build tools so that we could put the features in the game and then hand them off to level designers to then place throughout the game, <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. You're underselling that you... you uh... <laughs> Your biggest contribution to the game is you built the Star Destroyers. And the, I, all the, the, all the capital ships, ships yeah. yeah. Um, well, I, I didn't build them all by myself, obviously, but I was the like of point of contact designer on them. Uh, and the, the that came about a little bit of like when we were starting off with squadrons and kind of figuring out who was going to have what role and everything. So I was transitioning from level design to tech design. Uh, and I had asked some questions about the capital ships and what our plan for was uh, for them. And they were kind of like, well... If you have ideas, let us know. And I pitched a bunch of ideas, and they a lot of them ended up being pushed through. Uh, and so I became the point of contact and like primary designer for them. And then the whole like star 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 destroyer team got built around around some of those ideas. So that that was I guess like the biggest step for my career. And also like it was so much so much fun just learning more about like the technical side of things uh, while also being like creative with Star Wars stuff. <laughs> Are are you allowed to say like what some of those ideas were that kind of jump started uh, all that? Yeah, like the the first one that kind of comes to mind was the the subsystems. That was something that I had pitched of like in order to prevent the capital ships from feeling kind of like bullet spongy, what are some things we could do to try and make them more interesting that'll complement our systems for the the starfighters, like our player experience. What would match that well? Uh, and that was something that I had pitched and. I had some mentoring to write a document to then give to our our director team, and they they ended up liking it enough where we we got support and resources to build them out and see like okay is this really gonna work? Is it gonna make sense? Are people gonna get it? Um, three years later, here we are. <laughs> Be delighted to know, Mel. I saw a Reddit thread today. <clears throat> uh, 
that was, and it didn't have a ton of comments at the time, but the conversation was bubbling that people were talking about how the relationship between the capital ship and the starfighters was interesting because, uh, oh, my game, I'm having a PC issue. Sorry, guys. Oh, no. Go without me. I'll catch up. Um, <laughs> uh, they were talking about the relationship between the, the, the capital ships and the, the starfighters was interesting because you needed to like, oh, you know, I'm getting torn up in the interceptor because we're on the assault for the star to start. So now I need to change to a bomber or a reaper or whatever to help my team support get the ion damage like all the stuff that that document and that initial design that y'all cooked up is like exactly what people are talking about now exactly all the intentions of like this is how people will respond is exactly how they're responding and it's awesome <laughs> that That's, makes me really happy <laughs> I, I actually had a reddit thread that i wanted to bring up of and i think i saw you tweeting about it and someone's like mapped out the Arquidens and the Star Destroyer and like where all the missile emplacements and all the turbo lasers are. Uh, what, what's it like seeing all that kind of discussion start to pop up? So crazy. <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's really wild, like seeing stuff that like started as like sketches in my notebooks, conversations with our gameplay programmers and other designers of like, what do you guys think of this? Can we try this? I'm going to put this here. What do you guys think? And like, just like lots of back and forth feedback and it ended up ultimately coming to a place where like people now see it and i'm like that's that's exactly right that's where we put those <laughs> <laughs> wow that is what that does yeah like oh my god i'm I so glad it. people know uh like what the power system does because i wasn't sure people were gonna know <laughs> <laughs> how how oh was god. it oh go, go ahead oh sorry go ahead <laughs> I was, how was it designing uh like the mc75 because with the star destroyer <laughs> fans kind of know like yeah. we already know that those little bubbles shield. are shield generators and yes so, but you you got to kind of make decisions on the mc-75 i assume a little bit it was a lot of back and forth with uh our art team and uh the team at lucasfilm of like we need to have uh symmetrical subsystems on asymmetrical ships right yeah. like their their shape is totally different so how do we make sure that the the items read and we went through quite a few iterations we had a few like stand-in things that we tried and we ultimately like you know consulted some existing guides as well of like okay we know the shield generators are in the ribs on the side of this ship um so we just have to make sure like that led to our our discussions of making sure our targeting and and our ui elements uh you know could could make it clear if you targeted that side that's what you've got right so that was it was a lot of uh looping in and making sure everybody was on the same page and then tons of play testing of just like do people understand what the fin on the top, like, that's a thing you could target that's separate from the rest of the ship? <laughs> um, and yeah, that was, it was, it was, a, like, the most, like, a very interesting challenge. It wasn't necessarily uh, all, like, pain and suffering, but it was also, it was very creative, but it was a lot of work, too, to yeah, try and make sure that it, right? yeah, a lot of problem solving. Because you need to also do it in such a way that it doesn't completely break what we've seen in the films. Yeah, because I want to stay consistent with the rest of Star Wars and that you know we have lots of stop checks for that but it was also a priority for for me as like the person kind of trying to come up with stuff for it <laughs> <laughs> it it just kind of dawned on me that the way you put power systems in there that's like you just <laughs> you just blew admiral radis up <laughs> 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 yep yeah <He's> just... <laughs> sorry buddy <laughs> At least Ardo is safe. You blow it up and uh -huh. he still tells you you're doing a good job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's somewhere else. <laughs> he's 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 off site. <laughs> I just imagined him in an A-wing, like all hunched in, because he's a gigantic fish. <laughs> Keep up the great work, Vanguard! I'll make this count. Uh Mitch how is writing for squadrons different from writing for Battlefront 2? Because you you obviously kind of just had one character in Aiden uh, going forward. That, that that was the main focus. But now we're bouncing back and forth, and also the the main characters, so to speak, are just kind of silently, it's us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a, a huge difference. Like, there's similarities in that Aiden's story connects to, you know, we had the hero missions, where it's, okay, we're going to cut away to Lando and Han and Leia, and you're going to see what they're up to. But their story is going to intrinsically connect to what Aiden is doing. That way it doesn't mm -hmm. feel like you're cutting away to Han doing something completely unrelated to what you were just doing. Um, so in that regard, it's like, yeah, we we had a little bit of an understanding of how to tell a story as you're flopping around. Cause, and that's Star Wars, right? Like, you cut to Vader, and he's yelling at his guys and choking people out. And you go back to Luke and Han and Leia. 
so you always get that perspective of the Empire, uh, or the, at least the antagonist, or the other people. Um, it's different in squadrons, obviously, because you're playing as them. You get to play as multiple protagonists with multiple allies with multiple allegiances. And then structurally, the way we're telling that story is entirely in first person. Mm -hmm. Most Mostly in first person, because we have the cutscenes to kind of transition between uh, major scenes and, and locations and, and groups of people. But yeah, a lot of it is because it's you, right? Like, you're, you're you, the pilot, and it's extra <laughs> convincing and immersive when you play in VR. This is the first time I'm playing not in VR since the game came out. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I've, I've played 40 hours or something at this point, my eyeballs hurt, so it's yeah. a nice little break. Um, but yeah, like it's it's harder to tell a story when your character doesn't speak. Yeah, we didn't want to assign a ton of, and, and obviously they have voice packs. Like you get the different personalities and the different voice packs. But what we didn't want to do is tell you this is who you are and where you're from and why you joined the cause, because we want you to be able to project that onto the character. You get to yep. name the character. You get to kind of construct what they look like and what they wear and, and all of that stuff. Right? We wanted it to be you. You get to be part of Star Wars, and it's a it's a challenging story restriction. But in terms of kind of payoff for the fantasy, the, uh, for the pilot experience, it's overwhelmingly positive. <laughs> uh, like, it, it, I was not thrilled, honestly, early on about doing a story where there wasn't a main character. But then it kind of, you know, the more we worked on it, it's like, oh, I get it. Like, your team is the main character. It's not just, oh, I want I want to be the hero. It's like, no, <laughs> we are the hero. We started talking about uh, uh, decisions the player would make in terms of decisions the team would make, right? What's Vanguard going to do? Mm hmm uh, that's whether a cool it's way to you look at it, yeah. or Gunny or Upland yeah. or how does Ardo agree or disagree. We get to see some of that in the social hub. Um, but yeah, we, we we wanted it to very much be about these squadrons, these two different different groups. And making it about you takes away from them. So it's it, we try to make it as inclusive of all of them as possible. That's very cool. <laughs> um... Mel, I had I should have brought this up when we were talking about Star Destroyers, but I've I've heard an answer to this from Ian, I think, but I keep getting <laughs> asked, and I I want to have it like definitively. People keep asking if the if the capital ships are to scale. Oh, they're not. Oh. No. Oh, they're not. No. Oh, I could have sworn uh, Ian said that they were. It's are very they not? low. Maybe it changed. I don't know. Like, because so much changes in development, right? Maybe and you're yeah. like, oh, we got to we can adjust, and this needs to be bigger, and that needs to be bigger. And this feels too small. And this feels too big. Well, then I gotta awesome. stop saying that. Scale. My rules. <laughs> That's, I I could have sworn he said that they were, but uh, that was like back in July. Oh, oh wait, sorry. I thought you said two times scale, not oh, two no, scale. No, no. <laughs> I'm an idiot. They are absolutely to scale. One okay. to one. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> That's okay. I was like, I I feel like I knew the answer to that. <laughs> you did. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to gaslight you on camera. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm being shot with ion cannons. I'm fucking losing it. I'm sorry. Another beep. And you're swearing. <laughs> oh my god. Get it together. <laughs> oh, it's so stressful out in the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of yeah, the idea behind guys. trying this. Thank you for being guinea pigs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Yes, no, I misspoke. They are they are two scale, one to one, in exact <laughs> How many that, that was, but I'm trying to get back to you, gang. That was that was a conversation without. that we had like a few times on on the team too of like making sure like it was important important to a few of us that like it felt like like for real. You're really in a cockpit. This is really what you would see. Very like immersive in that sense. Oh, it definitely um, is. Yeah, because we, we wanted to maintain that, uh, even though there was some, like, sometimes we get feedback of, like, oh, it'd be cool if, like, you know, I don't know, they feel bigger in the movies. It'd be cool if when you're flying along and it takes as long as, like, in A New Hope when it's scrolling. And we're just like, yeah, that would be cool, but you're not in a, you're not in a cockpit for a lot of the, the film, right? Like, you're not really seeing it from the pilot's perspective. It's more cinematic, so we wanted this to be, like, very grounded in that sense, even though it's about Star Wars, but... Grounded in Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I think it handles like those Star Wars physics very well. Like some of the things that like uh, that things wouldn't act that way in the re in space for the real world, but yeah, uh, it it still feels Star Wars. Like when I think I saw someone talking about when the Star Destroyer gets really hit, it starts to like list a little bit and fall down. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> love those little details. Yeah. Oh, I think I just got booted from the match. Oh, oh no. lost connection. 
Oh no! Oh, I can probably reconnect. Let's give it a try. Well, you still have internet, so that's nice. Yes. I'm currently offline. Hmm. Steam, maybe? I'm having a Steam issue as well. Hmm. Mm. Unable to connect to EA servers. Please check your internet connection. Make sure Steam is online. Promise that you're here. <laughs> Do -do. All right, I think I'm connecting. Back in a jiffy. No worries. Carry without us. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm glad I put it on easy. <laughs> yeah. I'm in an interceptor. I'm gonna go attack flagship systems. <laughs> Perfect. As designed. <laughs> As intended. All right, I, I can do I can it. Join. You can do it. I believe. I got a shield right, generator. Right, Wait, did I? No, I didn't. I always do that. Okay, I'm back. Mel, you'll be thrilled to know that I finally, finally purchased the Emperor's Guard TIE Interceptor. Good, excellent. That's the best one. <laughs> These are our squad goals to be intimidating with crimson colored TIE fighters. <laughs> I know being red doesn't make you faster, but I wish it did, like, just a <laughs> tiny bit. <laughs> that's a, that's a good does. kind of segue into Easter eggs, because I found. A lot. <laughs> how uh, how long is your Easter eggs video? Twenty two minutes, something like that. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, some of them are kind of obvious, but some of them are. I mean, there's just so many in the paint jobs and stuff, like the yeah, yeah, yeah. the hundred eighty first and the the Emperor's Guard and yeah, lots of fun stuff. Um, was there anything that you were very proud of getting in there? Uh, yeah, so I slip into. I did this with Battlefront. I did it with Squadrons. I'll do it for every game I ever make. I slip in my friends and family's names. Nice. Uh, everywhere. Uh, as an example, uh, I'm now scanning through the enemies. Oh, uh, so Puyo Bach, our enemy pilot on the enemy team, on the, the, the AI pilot, Puyo Bach. Uh, that's a name my friend Brian's kid likes to call. 3PO being carried by Chewbacca, oh. Puyo Bach. She's a baby. Uh, and Brian, uh, Brian Altano told me that, and I thought it was the funniest thing I'd ever heard, so I had turned that into a Star Wars character. Very cool. Uh, I do that kind of stuff constantly. I think there's a pilot on the New Republic side. Maybe it's the Imperial side? I can't remember who ended up where. Uh, but one of them is uh, Vax Malesko. It's my friend Max Scoville. Anagrams. All sorts of stuff like that. <laughs> Uh, there's a, a campaign character who is a very kind of uh, uh, stern captain. He's very strong-willed. He knows what he wants. He's ready to fight all the time. Uh, I gave him my mom's maiden name as a name, Captain Amos. Oh, yeah, him. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, you know, this guy's kind of like <laughs> my mom. <laughs> uh, so I named him Captain Amos after my mom's maiden name. Uh, that one's a little self-indulgent because I guess technically it's also my birth name, but whatever. What are you going to do? <laughs> um, in terms of like narrative stuff, I'm trying to think of what... What was your favorite stuff you found? Remind me the the amount oh, of easter egging we did. Like, you found a lot. Uh, yeah, I did. It was... <laughs> I was kind of like Mitch, you monster, the whole time. Uh... Sorry, man. <laughs> Ooh. Now I'm hitting some sort of... Now I got booted. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Uh, no, it, it just knows I need to think. I think yeah, maybe exactly. EA's doing something. Well, we had maintenance today on the yeah. recording, so could be a little aftermath of that. Oh, um, but yeah, now I can. Stupid flagship, kill it! <laughs> but we can't. I wish I could just throw you my video feed. Uh, no worries. Uh, I'm looking up Easter eggs. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I loved. I mean, I loved all the Sky Strike stuff. Uh, anything that like connected to Rebels was really fun. Yeah, we stuck in a bunch of that kind of stuff. Like, there's mentions of Sky Strike, and we kind of expand on like, because there's like the guy I can't. Uh, Volt Scaris is that the mm -hmm. instructor? Yep. <laughs> Why do I still We're, know these things? Uh, we do lots of fun stuff in the, uh, like custom helmets and stuff in the. Yeah, like mentions that like Sabine painted this ship or uh -huh. something, right? Yeah. Uh, there's like a little Admiral Thrawn's uh, Chimera decal era hologram for your for your cockpit flare, things like that. Ways to like nod to the universe without making like a 
a, a huge deal out of it. I don't know. It's an interesting balance to strike, right? Because you don't want to be distracting. You don't want. You definitely mm -hmm. don't want people to be like, oh, you know what I'd rather be doing is watching the Thrawn episodes of Rebels. <laughs> um, but you want them to have, you know, the genuine reaction that you did, which is, oh, it's cool. Like, it's all connected, which is one of my favorite things about Star Wars. And I know that some people see it as, like, kind of in jokey and stuff like that, but. I love it. I love that the, the universe seems to be paying attention to itself, and it gives it a layer of consistency that's uncommon in most gigantic franchises. Um, and they hew to it very closely. They don't, you know, there's there's retconning, but it's very, I don't feel like it's often repair retcons. I feel like it's like <laughs> additive instead of fixing things. Yeah. Um, let's see, I was able to get back into your party. That's nice. I can't you should be able to, be rejoin able to join menu. game. I uh, clicking on one of our names. Or oh, even where Quick Play should be on the main menu. That's how I rejoined. <laughs> Maybe we filled your spot. Oh no. <laughs> no, no, no worries. Ah, we did. Oops. <laughs> no sweat. No. <laughs> Not booted. Well, Mel, do you think we can win this in the next five seconds? Next oh, phase, okay. probably. Uh, help me kill this white wing. <laughs> <laughs> He's done. Tanky f sorry. <laughs> Three, they're all they are. That's I'm gonna I'm gonna tell my friends that is the official new term for bombers. Why thanks? <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm the worst. <laughs> Terrible potty mouth. <laughs> Alright, it's our turn to attack. Uh good, just better get... nicknames during development that we've we've talked about them on Twitter a little bit. Everyone's talked about like the supports are called friendships. Yes. Aww. And things like we got... that. We got Pew Pews, those are our, like, X-Wings fighter fighters. class. We got uh, Zoomies, which is the Interceptors, and Boomies, which is the Bombers. <laughs> Zoomies and Boomies. Zoomies and Boomies. I got Boomied in a Zoomie right now. <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> Actually, how do you spectate? I haven't done that yet. And oh, I... yeah, yeah. If you click on our names, there should just be an option to spectate the game we're in. If you go to the friends list. I've been doing that more and more, like, Perfect. just seeing full friend parties, like, Oh, everyone's online and I can't play. Like I'll just spectate, and it's awesome. I I totally um, forgot that was an option. And because the game is crossplay, I've been like just snooping on my dad. He'll be playing <laughs> on PlayStation, and I'm like, ah, I can watch you from my PC. <laughs> oh, that's playing cool. recklessly. Eighteen kills, ten deaths. <laughs> that's playing recklessly is the only way I know how to play, which is <laughs> <laughs> I apologize to my teams. Let's go head on, nice. full thrusters. What what do you guys Thrusting. main as you fly around? I am a zoomy main. <laughs> Same. Zoomy main. I wanna be, but I'm not that good. I uh I thought like, oh I'll I'll be a support because that's like any other game I play as much of a support role as I can, just because I like that those tasks and that kind of uh, responsibility. Like just I'll help and you'll do the hard work. It's great. <laughs> uh but I've, I've really fallen in love with the bomber. Uh, they're just, they feel so powerful. Like, so powerful. The uh, bomber's probably my second favorite. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of that beam cannon. Um, it's just a, oh, we're not on the offensive right now. Whoops! There is I am one way out of position. Weak point. The MC-75, if I could have gotten it. Oh, I'll go. Oh, no, I'm gonna die. I'll no, don't go, don't go right now. <laughs> I, I went. We were playing with Jay the other day, and we were, like, just steamrolling a team, and he was like, hey, if you're really good, we can just go and, like, attack the Star Destroyer and finish it off, and we were like, okay, let's try it, and we all got ripped apart. You and, cannot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> we, we suspect that Jay was just trying to mess with us and be like, come on, idiots, <laughs> let's go. That is, that is false information. <laughs> <laughs> Very specifically, we went ahead and, and made sure that was Mel no cheating allow that. out. <laughs> <laughs> or at least yeah, we're on the You better be on the defensive. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's go. Now we can go win. Where's that weak point? Uh, it's in the back. Very on, way, way on the back, on the bottom. Oh uh, yeah, there's one above too. Oh no, wait, that's okay. a turret. Okay, I'm going for the weak point. Whoop! I'm probably gonna die. Got your on my way help. there. Oh! <laughs> I die. <laughs> oh no. I evaded the missile, but then I crashed. That's that's what I do. I try to zoom in close, and then I slam into the hole every single time, and I can't <laughs> stop doing it. I also try to do like cool guy moves, like I'm gonna drift and get uh -huh. this laser beam across the whole hull, and then I just crash into the side of it. You'll get there eventually. When you can pull that off, it feels really good. 
<laughs> so your your favorite cosmetic is the uh the red paint job the emperor's are you are you I, are you guys imperial rebels? What are your where are your sympathies? I'm a I'm a rebel. Same. I, <laughs> I love the way imperial ships look. I love flying an A wing the most. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like to tie armor a lot, especially in our game. Like we got to do a lot of really interesting new, um, like chest pieces and shoulder pads and all sorts of like new gloves and the helmet designs, especially like if you check out because the, there's like obviously the default. Uh, uh, model for like the Tie Pilot helmet, and you can do a bunch of different colors and patterns. But we also have like new models of of helmets, um, for just like different visual variety, and they look awesome. I'm so into them. Uh, Sorry, I had to interrupt, but I think I need an, another invite to the party. Invite away. Invite <laughs> Thank is you. away. Uh, my favorite cosmetic. Now I'm in the in the hangar looking. Uh huh. Uh, I do. I think the... I like the Imperial cosmetics more, but yeah, I do too. <laughs> There's just so much cool stuff. Like it's for a rebel, it's like yeah, cool, like different colored outfits, and you can throw on the jackets, and it's like yeah, these all look like great rebel costumes. But for the Empire, you're so used to seeing Tie pilots and just like one specific look mm -hmm. that getting to throw on stuff with like stripes and orange and red markings and chrome is like it's, it's awesome. <laughs> uh, I think my favorite. Where is it? I can't remember the name of it. Ah, here it is. The ISB Loyalty Officer's Armor. Because it looks very fantasy. Uh, yeah. It's got, like, the gauntlets and the big shoulder pads and the stripes. It's, it's a, And it's a full set, because if you get the pants, they also look really nice. You can also mix and match with, like, the, the chromium-enhanced greaves to get the shiny boots. Uh, I love that stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at them now, too. <laughs> Uh, but I'm also like I'm simple, right? Like I got the the uh, the regicide costume for my Imperial pilot, which is it's mostly similar to what you have by default, but purple. <laughs> it's just like a I love that shade of purple. I think it looks super awesome and unique, uh, but still authentically the Empire, you know? Yeah. Uh, I love that we have the coastal defender stuff. It's like shore trooper kind of colors. That's what I'm wearing right on, now. Yeah. On new shapes, nice. Love that. Uh, oh, I'm the party leader. I'm sorry. Uh, right. How do you guys feel about dogfight? I'll throw some. Yeah, dog. let's do a dogfight. Let's step it up a little bit. Love it. Let's Time to do be, it. Be for real. For reals. Is there any yeah. cosmetic either of you would want to add? Oh uh, yes, there was one, and I can't remember which one it was. Mitch, you answer. I'll try and remember okay, which, you think, which you thing think I had tried you, to what, pitch. <laughs> what's missing? And I'll try to think of what uh, a member of your party is part of a low matchmaking priority key. That's dun, dun, look. Dun. We we left. We left on the before the match started because someone didn't make it in, and that's what happens. We didn't. We didn't leave. <laughs> oh, no. We didn't rage quit. No, <laughs> it's not my we, fault. Re we rejoined <laughs> all of us but one. <laughs> um, man. Uh, it's simple in concept, but expensive in execution. But I'd love to see more. Uh, more stuff like we have with the. The the Varsha Survivor Tie Interceptor, mm -hmm. right? Where it's like it's a it's it's Varko Gray's standard Tie Fighter, his Tie Interceptor, but it's got tons of like little unique points of damage on it. I love more stuff like that, like just uh, like scratches or cracks in the the Rebel visor or like a hole in a helmet or like one of the lenses popped out or things like that. Um, I love that kind of stuff, just like the tiniest details that tell tiny little stories about what happened. Is that why they're only available? Like, only the X Wing has the Varsha Hunter, and only the Interceptor has the Varsha well, Survivor. Just, they're just unique because of, they were they were part of the Hunted film, so they're like they're very they're very special, particular kinds of looking ships. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna find my ship customization so I can get some of these skins too. Uh, we're doing dogfight. Mm -hmm. I'm still gonna go out in the Y Wing. Uh, I'm I'm rocking the Rust Bucket Y Wing, and I'm a huge <laughs> fan. Huge. Love this skin. I like the rust bucket. I, I'm a chrome A wing. I like being uh, shiny. Chromium flash is nice. Luminous being also very good. The legendaries all they all turned out so nice. Yeah, Gavin is a, a luminous being, and I'm a, a shiny chrome one. So we're just two ter terrifying shiny spaceships flying around. <laughs> um, we match. It makes me happy. Uh, 
Yeah, I wanted I wanted more like little plushies. I wanted more cutesy things yeah, for my cockpit. I want a little more, like more. little Rancor <laughs> toy oh, and little oh. little Tauntaun monsters. I just wanted more a little cockpit. You can get a little plush Tauntaun. Are you the reason I, there there is a lot of Rancor representation in this game? Is that your fault? <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not directly, but I th- I'm sure I'm I remember Take having many conversations with lots of the team of just like man, he's such a cool guy. <laughs> Love that <laughs> guy. Thing in Rancor, I forgot about. That. I like yeah. that that one just looks like a little rancor. It's perfect. Yeah. But the rest, I, I do love the the spirit of all the cosmetics where it's like the homemade or like carved out of wood or yeah. mechanical equipment that's all been crammed together to make like, oh, it kind of looks like a gong droid. It's perfect. Yeah. I love that stuff. Especially yeah. in the Empire where it's like, I stole a bunch of this shit and built Darth Vader out of it. It's awesome. <laughs> got something that makes me happy. <laughs> That's okay. what you typically expect. I've got the 2-1-B now, and it is very fun. <laughs> very nice. Alright. <clears throat> I'm gonna be stuttering even more. Now I know, now it's like we're playing hard. real people. I'm gonna focus up. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm supporting now. I'm just following you around, Alex. Oh god, that's an asteroid. No! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh. Dang it. Oh, yep, yeah, we're just going to hit each other, huh? All right. Uh, I don't know. I, that's another habit I have to break. I cannot stop jousting. Uh, Listen, there's some builds that work really it. well with it. <laughs> that's, I'm just like, I have shields. I'll be fine. <laughs> I'm never fine. My recommendation is if you enjoy jousting, try out the rockets, um, if you haven't already, because there are dumb fire missiles that do, like, Oh, Not yeah. as much damage as a missile, but you can fire them out pretty fast. And if you're jousting against somebody, they just don't stand a chance. Smart. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's my uh my. <laughs> this is gonna sound so dumb. My interceptor bomber that I go to use to attack oh, capital very ships. Good. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, put those rockets on me. I'm good. I got this. It's honestly a good plan if you like going up against capital ships as an interceptor. That's your best bet. Which I do. <laughs> Kill this idiot. Kill this idiot! <laughs> Did you ping him? Yeah. Yeah, man. He's dead. Yep. He's toast. I love I need a, the need ping a system so much. I shall yeah. look. Me it. too. Yeah, man. You that... have to just cycle through teammates. And like, okay, what's their health? Or cycle through enemies. Right. And like, yeah, I'm going for this guy. This guy's ionized. <laughs> it took him. us so long to, like, I mean, not that long, but when we realized that that was still helpful on top of having voice chat. Oh, like, yeah. oh my gosh, like, we just figured we'd be fine on Discord, but <laughs> being like, oh, someone's on my tail, I need help, and you're like, great, where are you? <laughs> yeah, and just like, double tap A, press Y, now yep. it's like, I pinged my attacker, go get him. If I die, it's your fault, I did everything I could. <laughs> we, we had this, like, we had this dogfight game where we just got destroyed, and uh, it was early on, so the, the player pool was still... Uh, kind of low, and then we, we joined a new game. Same group. Exact same people. We were like, oh man, this is gonna feel bad. But we were just like, hey, let's find the dude that was really ripping us apart. We'll we'll ping him, and we'll we'll just try to focus on him. And we did that, and it, like, blew their team out of the water. And we were like, oh my Hell god, this yeah. ping system is amazing! Coordination! Yeah, yeah it really goes a long way. <laughs> you ping, you win. Ping to win. <laughs> Jump damn! Hit it! I think it was even like not that long ago that we realized that you can ping yourself to request for help. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, your like I, I didn't realize that the support ship could then uh, double tap to target you immediately. Yes, because like that oh, was something cool. that, that was prioritized a lot. Of like, you're out in space, right? You're in completely like three-dimensional three 360 combat how do we keep players from losing track of their teammates especially if you're the healer or you've got healing stuff oh, um, down. and that was oh i've got a vengeance for you <laughs> that was that was like a a huge challenge that we like ended up spending a lot of time on and i think it it was like it worked out Ah, oh, dang it sorry i'm like just stuttering like crazy now <laughs> that's how that's how i thought this would go we we made it a priority. Put it in the game. 
Uh, I just noticed that one of the guys on the enemy team is named Stig of War, and I choose to believe that's a respawn Stig Asmussen. I've no idea if that's true. <laughs> just, it, it's gotta, it's gotta be. It's gotta be. It's right? gotta be. Who else? It's gotta be. It's too specific. I'm coming. Coming back. Don't go in the storm. <laughs> well, Mitch, you got someone on your tail? It's Stig. Stig! Take down Stig Osmussen! I'm Don't trying. Take oh. Me down. oh! I got baited. Alright, I'm, I'm on there. Stig. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you feel any better I lived. It doesn't, but that's great. <laughs> well, I got 20 points for resupplying someone else. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! No, 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 I don't want to die. You, this is how I thought it would happen. Thanks. Have you, uh, have you figured out the drift? Have you, do you feel like you got some mastery on that yet? I love drifting. It is it's the so coolest satisfying. thing in this world. <laughs> so fun, right? I'm not I tired of it. doing it. Me neither. Oh, I've been I doing just... it for years. <laughs> I just learned that if you shoot a resupply at a friend and you're obscured by an asteroid, it will smash into the asteroid and destroy itself. Oh! <laughs> oh, you gotta be careful with those resources. Oh, yes. Hit it. Got him! Was there anything when you were making the game that you, like, had to maybe fight to include or find precedence for mm. in Star Wars? Let me think on that, because I'm sure there is. Don't, can't tell you immediately. So I'm gonna fly around and think. Honestly, um, uh, at least from, from what I can speak to in terms of like, the capital ships, there wasn't anything that was necessarily what I would call like a tug of war type of fight to get it in. It was more of just like, there was some struggles for, uh, basically the, the mid-sized capital ships don't necessarily have as many, or didn't necessarily have canonically as many turrets as they do now. <laughs> uh, so that was something that was like, okay, we need to make sure that we're all on the same page before we start changing pre-existing silhouettes, right? We don't mm. want any of those silhouettes to change so you can still recognize the ships. So that was like, uh, kind of a boring answer to the question, but mostly just like, there's logistics to sort out for this, and uh, it took... Wow, Lord! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I avenged you. Thank you very much. Uh, but it took a lot of a lot of back and forth because we had wanted to express how important it was that the mid-sized capital ships ha had like a certain level of engagement around them, so that they were just deadly enough to be threats, but not quite at the flagship level. They needed to feel like their own specific combat area, and uh, the turrets play a huge part in that because they're the main way it defends itself, right? So that was that was a lot of uh, just like game design blending with creativity or like creative innovation on something that already existed in the Star Wars world. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on over there? Okay, sorry. This oh shit <laughs> I was trying to get this guy before he flew into the storm. That's like exactly <laughs> what I I was hoping this would turn into. Oh, you <laughs> trying to answer like oh <laughs> Narratively, maybe the Starhawk, and not in that, like, we wanted to do Starhawk and Lucasfilm said no, but just making sure that we could do it right, right? Like, it was always on the table, we said, hey, we, we want to do the Starhawk thing, we want that to be the, the kind of the subject of, of the conflict in the story, and it was, it's one of those things that you got to be delicate about it, because it is a big deal thing, and it's never been seen on screen, and we know what happens to all the Starhawks, uh, so it, it was really about, okay, we need to figure out uh, where are the Niduri documents? What do they look like? What's going on there? How are they building these things? Uh, what does an incomplete Starhawk look like? Uh, and also, what is this Starhawk? Because if it's not really around in the aftermath timeline, when the battle at Jakku happens and the war ends, uh, what what is it? So that that dictated a little bit of our story direction as well, just determining... Uh, certain things about the Starhawk. <laughs> sure. Did that I'm now I'm realizing like, oh no, I'm getting into spoiler territory. I should probably quiet. <laughs> quiet <down a> bit. <laughs> um, when it comes to the design of the Starhawk, was that something? Because that that design came out like a year ago from Star Wars Armada, but was that through you and uh, Squadrons development, or how how did that go? 
I wish I remembered more about how it came to be because I know there were some some concept arts going around and like we'd obviously uh, uh, had the fantasy flight stuff to make sure that we were all on the same page. But as far as I know, this might be wrong. Uh, our art team was the the one that like, yep, they're going to define what this thing looks like in HD and they're going to build it. That's cool. <laughs> It's w weird like, seeing something that, like, yeah, you kind of spearheaded, and then it came out earlier in this uh, <laughs> tabletop game. Dude, that's been the crazy thing about Battlefront is there's a lot of, like, Aiden and Dale and Hass, they're all in the X-Wing tabletop game. And then I think Aiden and Co. are, I think there's, there's like, a pack that just came out for Legion. Is that the tabletop game with the miniature figures? Imperial Assault? Remember. Might have been that one, yeah. But there's, like, a new Inferno Squad pack for it. So I got to go find that and spend money on it and paint them. Um, but the nice thing, the thing I'm excited about with Squadrons is it's just like, here's a ton of characters, ships, cosmetics, sure. and uniforms. Please make things with them, Fantasy Flight. Like, I want to see them put all of this stuff in the tabletop games. <laughs> I want them to be as excited about this as I am, like they were with Battlefront 2. Like, man, I hope so. I'd love to see more of this stuff in tabletop. Whether Even if it's paint jobs, if it's characters, whatever. More, 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 more. And with like collaborating and stuff, how how was it uh, working with Alexander Freed? Because the Alphabet Squadron okay. books definitely have some some little ties. You you make some references to it as well. Yeah, we we went down to San Francisco for various Lucasfilm meetings uh, back in the olden times when you were allowed to do that. <laughs> uh, and we we met with Alex during one of those meetings and talked to him and the publishing team about like, hey, how do we make how do we make these things talk to each other? Which is a very common thing you do when you're working on Star Wars is making sure that. Uh, you're not just telling a great story on your own, but hey, your story is going to impact Star Wars, right? Every time you add to Star Wars, you're giving people things to respond to and add to, which is exciting. Like with Battlefront, we did that a ton based on like Greg Rucka's comics and a ton of stuff going on in the comic world. Like we, we really piled on new content onto what they had been doing. Um, and Alex was, yeah, he was very gracious with us. He was very, very uh, transparent with what he wanted to do. Um, and and kind of story he was telling and, and what alphabet was i think the first book was coming out or had just come out when we met him uh so we were trying to figure out like okay like timeline wise where are we where are you what's the time jump what's where are your characters what's going on? so i was i was fun just to talk to him about alphabet and and this which they're, they're similar but different which is cool they're like they both hit on the same kind of themes and, and fantasies at the same time which is nice because you can like play the game and read squad uh <laughs> play squadrons and read alphabet it's gonna say it the opposite. <laughs> Play alphabet and read squadron. Yeah, man. Um, but it was cool because we got to do like little things, like there's like a little insignia mm -hmm. uh, that you can add. That's like a little alphabet insignia. Yeah. I love uh, this. We level. referenced them, all sorts of that kind of stuff, like Gunny's <laughs> talking by. trash about mm -hmm. alphabet Titan fapping around. <laughs> yeah, I like this map a lot. Um, this is one of my favorites. Same. What I, I like too about a lot of the maps, uh, for dogfighting specifically, cause like, you know, you all know I love fleet battles, but like, when it comes to dogfights, I really love maps that are just like, have so many little nooks and crannies that you can hunt people in, quite literally, or like, hide around a corner of an asteroid or something, and then just pop out and blow people up. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do right now. Th this one has a lot of great drifting opportunities i love oh yeah oh yeah i love the like kind of <laughs> ring around the whole thing uh drifting through I that really is want the best i want to figure out a way one to be good at this game and then two once i'm good at this game to figure out how to do like a 360 no scope with my beam <laughs> like just a full drip 360 degrees laser beam on let's go <laughs> That's I don't a, even know if it's possible. Well, there's a an achievement that's like, do a do a drift and get a kill ten times. And I was like, oh no, I don't know if I can <laughs> handle that. I maybe have one. Just getting an A-wing and just start grinding that achievement. Yeah, honestly, if you've got... Uh, it's fun. I, I like drifting on uh, the Imperial side for different reasons than the Rebel side. For Rebel dr side, I tend to drift for... Uh, to give myself a chance to let my shields recharge, because I have mm. a fast recharging sealed shield on my A-wing, so I'll drift around and try to lose a uh, break line of sight from my my pursuer just long enough to get my uh, my shields back, and then I'm back into the the loop, 
but for Imperials, I tend to use them specifically to get kills. Because I know people are gonna... It's so tempting to get right behind an Imperial ship, because you know you don't have to chew through any shields. Um, so just emergency power transferring everything into engines, boosting away and then spinning around and using the last of your lasers to finish them off. One of my favorite things to try and do. <laughs> yeah, that power transfer is something I gotta get better at doing. Like I am X same when I'm like, I because I I'm in max engines most of the time, which is not good because it means I'm not shooting effectively, right? So I need to get better at like, okay, max lasers, get that overcharge, get the, like the more damage, get the more ammo, and then when I need the boost, just press X and boost. Like it's there. There is a feature for that, and I'm so bad at remembering to use it. <laughs> I'm kind of the same way, like I just leave everything in engines and then uh, double tap X when I have to uh, shoot. Oh, okay. I guess, yeah, that works too. It's like, it's the exact same thing, but the other way around. Man, that's what I should just start doing. Dang, you got better tech than I do, man. I'm, uh, someone, uh, Eckerd Slatter told me that one, so I can't take nice. credit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you, are yeah, you I guys are doing that. like a, a pro team pretty much, hey? <laughs> Yeah, what's uh, sure. that about? I saw the league or something. <laughs> Tell me he's everything. Scored. I want to know more. Okay, We're so very excited about this. Now, man. Yeah, uh, I mean, we're trying to get. Oh, come on, shoot! What did I do? Uh, we're we're trying to get like a competitive scene going, and it's a. Uh, That's cool. It's called Operation Ace, and we were invited to it. We didn't like spearhead it, um, but it's. Me, Eckerd Slatter, Battlefront updates, uh, As a True, and Bombastic are all made squadrons. And uh, this Saturday, we're going to just play for five hours, and we'll, we'll just get like achievements for the squadron with the most wins, player with the most kills, most assists, that kind of thing. That's fun. Um, yeah. So that's why uh, we made Mustache Squadron, and uh, all, all my friends shaved down to mustaches. That's that's true friendship. Yeah, yeah. I'm so happy to yeah. see that kind of support forming <laughs> in the community already. It's so great. <laughs> One of them uh, took some real convincing, and uh, <laughs> we we basically yelled at him on one of his live streams until he did it. Uh, <laughs> it was very funny. He did it on stream. <laughs> oh, amazing! Uh, I could use a resupply if anyone. So you, a reaper? Nope, that's no one. Okay. On the table. I see. I see a, an icon. <laughs> nope. Uh, but yeah, we're doing that, and then there's another one called Creator Clash that's happening November 1st. Uh, that one has 16 people on it. Wow, that's cool. That's a lot of players. Yeah. 16 is the number where you start, like, when you're doing a tournament thing, you're like, oh no, this is a lot of people. <laughs> Takes some organizing. <laughs> it's real now. <laughs> Ugh, I don't have any kills. I'm an embarrassment. Oh, I guess it, I just noticed that I'm not targeting the enemy squad. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> You've been shooting me this whole time? <laughs> well, I've been, like, manually targeting with left trigger. Oh, yeah. I'm only kind of an I've expert missile, but that does help. <laughs> hey, let's kill this guy. Oh, oh, oh. I'm okay, I'm alright. Oh, yeah, that, guy, <laughs> that was... Yeah, we got him, team. <laughs> <laughs> that was... brutal. Uh, this guy. He's got him. Whoa, that guy this is guy. Fast. Whoa. Whoa. I gotta get a resupply. No! Oh, shoot. Oh my god. Yeah, this guy is fast. Oh, he went the wrong way. Damn it. Try to beam him. So <laughs> Give him the beam. <laughs> it's okay. We're only, we only need four kills. Well, you only need four kills. We're not gonna get any. <laughs> oh, I got one! You did it! Look at that. I was joking with a friend the other night that this game it elicits that genuine Luke Skywalker joy of like, I got one! Yeah. A hundred percent, and it's for real. Whenever it's you, for real. yeah, whenever you get one of those like, I can't shake them's coming out like <laughs> <laughs> on accident. I love it. I'm a little cooked, but I'm okay. <laughs> Yeah, like saving a friend is for real. That's, oh, a, yeah. that's like a genuine like I got it, I got your back. Oh, thanks a lot. Like yeah, it happens constantly. It's so cool. I it's absolutely so love love that ahead, part. <laughs> oh, I was just kidding. Yeah. Because <laughs> we talk about it when we make it. Like oh yeah, we want to make like this moment from the movie, like yeah. that emotional thing. Like let's do more of that. 
Good and you Lord never Mel. know it's gonna land. I just <laughs> looked at the scoreboard. But then you also board. have like, yeah, she's a monster. <laughs> um, I like my A-wing. <laughs> or I'm wait, I'm in an interceptor. Like that one too. <laughs> Zoomies. Zoomies. See three of us in the red. That looks badass. Someday it's gonna be five. Okay, I think, I think we're ready. We can do this with a. We can do a fleet battle. Let's do a fleet battle. Close it out. All right. All right. Do it. Oh, that guy's got the circuit runner helmet. I love that one with the purple visor. Pretty. <laughs> I want to get more pilot swag too. I want that full set for the Imperial with the pauldrons that you were talking about earlier. I want to get the uh, uh, different. I want to be a a, twi a twilik or a twilik for the uh, re rebellion. <laughs> <laughs> Level fifty, congrats! Thanks. Holy moly! <laughs> I know. Star Wars. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I played forty hours. I'm level twenty-seven. Uh, let me read this number off and be embarrassed. Uh, eighty-three <laughs> yes. hours. Oh my goodness! <laughs> How much time have you spent in like each mode? Go to your career tab. Uh, Does that tell us about your life? Play time: twenty-four hours in fleet battles. Nice. Two it's hours right? in AI. Six hours. Dude. Yeah. Six hours in dogfight. Interesting. So you play mostly dog, or sorry, mostly fleet battles, not dogfight. Uh, yeah, we usually like to warm up with some dogfights, and then we yeah, hop yeah. into fleet okay. battles. Well, I guess on that pro circuit, you got to know what you're doing in fleet battles. I mean, we're trying. <laughs> like we, we're doing our best. I wouldn't say we know what we're doing. Low man. There's some. There's there's a lot of uh, kind of. De depending on what your enemy team is up to kind of determines at least how I approach fleet battles. Like, if we're up against folks that are uh, regularly switching between heavy uh, composition of anti-player uh, to anti-capital ship, then I tend to play a little bit more defensively and try to, like, specifically protect the subsystems, like, really aggressively. Uh, but if we're up against players that are not going, switching fully to damage or just switching, staying in, like, flex or... Uh, interceptors to try and go after sub uh, or to try and go after players um, then I tend to be a little bit more tanky and I'll just go past them and go straight for for subsystems myself uh, it really depends on on what you're up against would it also you, changes would you which... like to just lead this attack uh, oh, sure. and tell, tell us what to do <laughs> I would love that yeah it, please please just captain us Mel please I, walk us around when I'm failing just tell me what I'm doing wrong Let I will have... do my best um, and uh, I'll try not to get too too bossy because i when i go into like just uh shouting out like calls or giving calls i try not to be like uh as sound as intense as i'm in the the dog fight so i'm not like barking at people being like get in the interceptor get it no i would love that <laughs> <laughs> be bossy okay <laughs> tell me tell yell at me when i go in for a, a an attack run <laughs> and i'm you not bet. supposed to yes okay i need cool. someone to whip me into shape <laughs> all right let's do it let's do it um because, yeah, one of the other things I'll do is, like, depending on what the enemy team is doing, I'll change up which subsystems I prioritize. Typically, it's either targeting first and then power, or power and then targeting. Uh, power, I go first if we are having a hard time reaching the ship. If we're having a hard time laying down damage with our bombers, go for the power first, because that'll expose the breach points. If you can uh -huh. get to a breach point, you're dealing almost as much damage per one of those as a bombing run, a complete bombing run. So if you can't get your bombers in place... That's a good way to make sure you're still getting hull damage dealt while doing the rest of the the management of making sure fighters are staying off of your bombers and making sure that your small cap survives long enough to deal its full duration of of damage. Okay. In its lifetime. <laughs> when, when do you do shield gen? I almost don't. Really? Um, I'm gonna yell at Jay. <laughs> Jay was like, he was like, what do you like to go for first? And I was like, I think I like power systems first. And he was like, really? And he was saying you should do shield gens. So, and, and they're, they're, it's completely valid. Again, if you've got uh, your builds are more tailored to capital ship hull damage as opposed to ion damage, going for shield generators first is great because it gets it out of the way. But they are mm -hmm. challenging. I tend to prefer, if I can get a bomber or a support ship with ion lasers, to disable the shields because you can just disable them by oh. hitting them with ion. 
Disable them first. That gives you a window of opportunity to go in and get the subsystems quickly before they come back up. It's a huh. little bit like more efficient. With your lasers, just hammer, like, just shoot at the thing, right? And you can shoot the at shields. the shield, or you can shoot okay. at the shield generators themselves, which will bring the whole shield down for a short duration. So you, you fly under the shield, hit the shield gens. Do you have to hit both of them to bring the shield generators down, or just one? Uh, you did both for it to completely oh, go man. down, but the, it takes less time to disable them than to destroy them. Wow. And then usually on second or third run is when I would recommend you fully destroy them because at that point you should have dealt enough damage where the enemy team should be on the hyper defensive and not be able to fully stop you from dealing damage to the hull. So that opens up opportunities for you to start targeting other things to make sure your next run is a little bit set up for success. Is that you try to plan ahead a little bit when you're attacking sure. something big. Oh, I have, now I'm like, uh, <laughs> I don't know, let's go. Let's shoot at it again. <laughs> So this Five is, this more is, A-Wings. Yeah. <laughs> Send the A-Wings in. <laughs> They'll be fine. This is just one way that I do it. I'll I'll play Flex for this one so that you can have uh, space to play Interceptor. I tend to play... I prefer teams where we've got uh, two bombers, one support, and then two anti-fighters, one Flex, one Interceptor. Uh, so you get like a pretty decent balance of, of everything you need. But your Interceptor needs to be like pretty, pretty good at keeping people off of other players. Your priority as an interceptor shouldn't be, I can get this guy. Your priority should be, Shaking are my teammates off. in danger mm. from this guy? I'll kill him first. Ow. I died because I was explaining that. <laughs> <laughs> chaos! <laughs> chaos now! <laughs> I'm gonna shut up and just focus. <laughs> Alright, Mitch. I'm trying to get this guy off of you. Thank you. My droid's screaming behind me. Wow. <laughs> Watching your own death cam is uh, sobering. You're like, I was shaking that guy. And you're just like flying straight. <laughs> yeah, just, at like half speed, like an idiot. I do love watching my death cams when I am killed by a Star Destroyer and it's just that far away shot. And I'm like, yeah, there I am. <laughs> well, there I go. <laughs> yeah, you going at him. Go. <laughs> This'll work. Ooh, Mel's ionized. I am ionized. Revenge! I'm coming. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, what have we got? What have oh, we got? No. We've got an X Wing, we've got a Y Wing. Uh Mitch Hello. I need you to need kill that uh that that raider really fast. I'm on it, dude. Um I'm dead. I'm not on it, dude. <laughs> it <laughs> no would be problem. Nice <laughs> if one of our teammates could switch to healer support. or yeah, support. I'm on it. I got it, I got it. Not exactly a healer class, but a friendship. A friendship. I'm doing that. My squad. Melt. Oh. Whoop. Okay. This guy's as... coming in a bomber. All right, got him. Uh, as an A wing or a fighter, like, does it do me any good at all to help hit the raider? Uh, a little bit. Only okay. if there's nobody immediately threatening your capital ships. Okay. Because they are a priority to get rid of those for sure. <laughs> Would... So if there's no bombers around and nobody killing your uh, the rest of your team, definitely go for it. Um, what about the bombers? Like, kind of the opposite question. Should they prioritize hitting uh, any fighters before going after the raider? Uh... They should always prioritize the raider as a bomber. Okay. Yeah. Press the advantage. You love to hear it. Thanks, Ardo. We're still on defense. Yeah. There we go. Okay, I got the raider. Well, I could use a resupply. If you can see me. Um, yeah, should I, to use I, the... You want me to hop into a bomber? Because no one's got you, bombing right now. Bomber would be superb. Doing it. I'm headed your way. Be nice to cut down these cruisers. Yeah. Okay, Mel, I'm gonna try to keep up with you. You're fast. Okay. What kind of build do you like for your bombers? I like having a proton bomb on at least one of my bumpers. Um, because those are really satisfying and big, big damage. Uh, I like to do that with assault shields, so I can always guarantee at least making it to the ship to drop one of those. 
Ow! Where we going behind the smelt? Oh, I couldn't get the thing off before I died. It's okay. <laughs> I, I had max shields and they were all in the rear and he's still just... I'm dead. <laughs> I think I had power. Alright, I'm gonna... Switch to an A-Wing and try to yeah. keep keep you guys alive. Um... What would you say is the secret to... Or, or is it even likely for... A, a bomber to survive an attack run? Uh, it's it's very doable. Um, you just need to have basically a combination of oh, what is receiving that? at least a resupply or a, a deployable shield. You need your A-Wings to kill the defending players before you reach the capital ships, and then you're going to want an assault shield or some form of survivability for yourself versus the capital ship itself. <laughs> Tactical shield for me, perhaps. Yeah, because uh, if, you, if you put on like a... A front shield while you're approaching the capital ship that'll soak up most of the damage you can build up your engines boost in drop your bomb drift turn around boost out get in get out <laughs> which makes it sound so easy yeah i know it's it's not easy to execute on i'm not very good at it either but that's the thing you can do <laughs> uh one of the things i remember you teaching me about capital ship assaults and i'm still really bad about about actually doing this is hey lasers they shoot in a straight line just move out of the way like <laughs> move left and right like weave go up and down like make unpredictable movements with your flight path because then you just won't get hit by the lasers they can't track you yeah the more the more you fly around and we bob and weave the harder time yeah the hard the harder a time the turrets will have keeping track of you so exactly, it's very exactly. advisable to do so <laughs> when facing a capital ship because they, they don't just shoot straight they will try and track you but if mm -hmm. the only to a, a certain point, then you can you can shake them. Well, thank you. Oh, come that's something that like more. yeah I I I know to do that, and I still feel like I'm just not doing it very well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I hit some points too where I'm just like oh, I thought I was weaving enough, and then I'll watch the kill cam. And I'm like oh no, nope, barely yeah. moving. <laughs> Big exaggerated turns. Yeah, that's my thing too. Whenever that's, I watch yeah. kill camps, I think I, I'm doing all right, and I'm not, because <laughs> I'm not moving enough. Oh, that laser beam is scary! Kill him quick! He's being resupplied. Oh my god! Okay, got He's done. Uh, let's get this frigate, or sorry, the. Yeah, Vader. please do. I know what Star Wars is. <laughs> He's attacking our frigate. Oh no, I don't have any health for you, Alex. Ah! It's on cooldown, stand by. There you go. Um, is it worth it to drop proton bombs on shields or ion bombs on holes? Uh, it's worth it, it to drop it on shields. It yeah. will do damage, just not as much. And ion is not really worth on hulls. Gotcha. In a pinch, it I guess if you have nothing else, go for it. But Yeah, it doesn't do nothing. <laughs> But <laughs> does not a, not an I would not advise it if you're saving it for something else. <laughs> yeah. Dang, we're losing, gang. Oh shoot, we were just about to switch it. See that? Shoot it. Where's the uh -oh. oh, here's one. Here they are, here they come. Yeah. So prioritize bombers if you can. That guy's uh, ionized. Kill him quick, Dead. kill him fast. Nice. There's a bomber. Yeah. Please die. <laughs> no, our dude got ionized and I couldn't save him. This guy's ionized. My mind's after him. Got him. Nice. Hell yeah. Coming to you. Cool down on health. Thank oh. you. Yeah, man. Oh, he got a torpedo off, which is not great. This guy. This guy. Oh, They're just yeah. trickling in. That's great. <laughs> great for us. <laughs> we love it. All right. MC is missing uh, some shields and some health, but not too, too much. If we can get a couple kills without them getting too close, we'll be in good shape. 
Ooh, here's a question. I don't overextend. Have you seen people who like tend to hang back and be very not aggressive? And what yeah. would you do to counter that? We only saw one game with that, um, and we just kind of outpatienced them. I think. Uh, we ended up losing, but yeah. I think there's a. Uh, well, that's not really what we want. The only way we can kind of counter it is to try and hunt down some creeps to get our morale bar to start inching forward. Yeah. And the other thing you can do is try to bait them, like get into an A wing. Put everything into engines, boost in, get their attention, boost out, try and draw them chasing close enough you. that you're... Yeah. Get them chasing you, get them engaged so your team can try and finish them off. Whoop! There's somebody. Oh, I'm trying to target this guy. There we go. This guy. There's someone on our targeting system, it looks like, or power. Yeah. On the power, it's not good. Oh, he's got multi-locks. No! Junkin Panda must die! I'm on him, he's going up top. Alright, uh, disengage, he's too far. I'll finish him off, you guys go for the other bombers coming in. Got him. There's the other. Yeah, don't let him get too oh, close. Oh, he's like parked underneath. Oh, he's just going for a beam. Got him. Yeah. He got our, one of our shield generators though. Yeah, it's not great. Shoot. Go for this guy, and then it's our turn. Yeah. Good stuff. Rest in peace, dude. All right, let's ball. Go! Where are we going? Charlie? Oh. Crash, I mean? Uh, yeah, go for C. It's got okay. no shields. Uh, see if we can evaporate it quickly. Give me an assault shield here. Tactical shield, I guess assault shield is the one that you equip. Alright, I'm out of bombs. Ah! Oh. Dang it! I flew in a straight line, that's on me. <laughs> I did too. Man, they're just clobbering us to get that morale back so fast. Uh, let's, we can pull it back, get a few kills before you engage with that cruiser again. Any AI that we can mine here as well? Yeah, mine some AI. Ah, uh, dang. dang. Oh my god. This guy's eye nice. Nice. And very low. He's very dead. I'm getting this guy now. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Get their support ship out of the game. Get him out of my game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh god, I'm so slow in this U8. I gotta put more of my engines, dude. Yeah. I've gotta so I've gotta switch it up. I didn't even realize I was that close to Light Cruiser. I thought I was on our side of the map. Whoops. I guess yeah, they're advancing, so yeah. <laughs> that explains it. Yeah. They're done for. Oh. This guy's ionized. Should I be going to work on the raider? Yes, please. Uh, yeah. Oh. This guy's too close. Nice. Nice. This guy's coming in. Yep. Very good. Oh, shoot. That's not good. I have crashed. Hey, there's a, uh, this guy's the on the top. So close. <laughs> what would you do without me? Okay. Halfway morale. Raider at twenty eight hills. Oh lord! Our MC has 7 HP! This is not great. <laughs> Turn it! Oh no! Get that guy! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry team. I did not lead you to victory. It's okay. We can do another. <laughs> we can do one more. <laughs> That's true. That's yeah, they were good to go out on. very good at getting damage onto our capital that ships. That was great. Yeah. yeah. That's, I, it's like, well, I feel like we, yeah. uh, my teams tend to get through the cruisers very quickly and then fumble it at the capital ship. 
Yeah, and caught. it's like this this team did well because they had people going straight for the subsystems, and they also had uh, three bombers and a support ship, which is uh, a very like difficult build to pull off with randos. Like it's it's hard to not have the communication line of like they're going full assault and they've tanked up their bombers and they're protecting them really well. I couldn't kill them fast enough. Yeah. And neither could like we kind of had uh, a cup like too many people on Y wings in the dogfight, and then a couple people that were not switching to Y wings on attack, and that kind of goes into a uh, a territory where it's like okay, if there's people organizing to do capital ship damage together as a team, that's a bit of an advantage against playing with p- folks where it's like they don't they might not know that switching to a bomber is really important at this phase, so they kind of yeah. stayed in X wings and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, which is just on the online experience of like people figuring stuff out together. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm party leader. My bad. <laughs> you're party leader, and also your camera's gone again. Oh, I is see it? it. Oh, I don't. Well, I that's think... that's good that you can see it. <laughs> I, I think it's one of those things where you just have to click back into Discord. Oh and, and yeah. It'll refresh oh, it. Yeah. Okay. Oh yep, that's what it was. <laughs> Show me Xavier in a mist. Ah, Esley's is good too. Esley's is also cool. <laughs> just like the Xavier in a mist a lot. I like purple, gang. <laughs> Two. Uh, do we still want the Reaper in the first phase? Reaper's handy in the first phase. Okay. I'll just just stay like on that the whole time. fire out resupplies willy nilly yeah. and and uh, shields or whatever you have equipped. Understood. I need to check my Tie Fighter build. It's been a while since I've done that. Yeah, I, I find TIE Fighters are, like, I, I played X-Wing for quite a bit of that match as well, because it was like, okay, if, if I can't kill people fast enough as an interceptor, so they're tanked up, and I need to do some extra damage to capital ships, it's a perfect middle ground of, like, I can decently engage with players, uh, I can do a decent job with that, and also be able to, like, once they're cleared out, hammer out a capital ship a decent amount as well, with, uh, like, rockets and... Uh, I have the burst cannon on on my Tie Fighter and on my X Wings. So I find that to be really yeah, it's really satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still working on my accuracy, but I do like the burst cannon. Like yeah, when you hit them, it feels so good. Sato Satori. Come on, man. You gotta ready up. Sure. Uh, what voice pack are you using? What's everyone rocking with the voices? Oh. I forget what, what this one is. I, I know it's I... Hotshot on New Republic. Yes, yeah, okay. so I was gonna say, that's what I am on New Republic. What am I here? Let's see. I think I'm Fury. That sounds right. <laughs> uh, if yeah, you emote a yes or a no, you'll hear a line. Oh. I just checked in the customization. Yeah, I'm Fury as well. Nice. I like the exaggerated ones. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the hotshot is my favorite thing. His like giggle and stuff. <laughs> the hotshot turned out so nice. Like <laughs> like uh, this pilot voice packs are so fun. What's your favorite map? Xavier uh, Abyss. Yeah. I like Xavier and Abyss. I think uh, Nadiri Dockyards is my favorite. I like that one, how it has lanes and stuff. Yeah. The lanes are fun. Yeah, yeah. And there's there's certain nooks and crannies that I've gotten used to using of like, I know somebody's going to drift past here not very fast and they're going to go for that resupply and I can just <laughs> like jump out and get them before they make it. <laughs> it's very cruel and fun. <laughs> The Esselis is probably my favorite dogfight map, but Nadiri, I think, is my favorite fleet battle. Mm, it's very epic. I and also I, really like fleet battles in, in Yavin. I, I do, too. Really I was cool. about to say, Yavin's awesome. <laughs> I, lo- I love how open it is. Yeah, like, it's it's not what you would expect. Like, you'd think you'd need something like cover, but then when you get in there, you're just like, oh, it's it's great. <laughs> and you can, ex- you can, like, dive into the clouds to escape. 
Yeah. Dolphin diving in the clouds enough. is really fun. And then at the end, when the ships kind of broadside each other, yeah. very cool. <laughs> All right, this is the one we win. This is the one. Have we won a game tonight? Yeah, we won some dogfights. Did we? Okay, yeah, yeah, we did great in dogfight. And we didn't lose any of the AI ones either. Yeah, we all did good in dogfight. We all helped. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's uh, that's where I, I think I I played the most even during development. Like I I loved playing dogfights. Uh, it's my favorite thing, and I think I'm definitely better at that than I am at fleet battle. Like, I, I can strategize decently well, and I, I like playing fleet battles, but my favorite thing to do in fleet battles is kill players that are coming too close to my capital ship, so. <laughs> It's definitely Ooh, my... You got that volcanic TIE fighter. Titan yeah. It's cool. Forge near Castle uh, Corvax. Oh yeah, that's why I got another it. Good, another good little mm -hmm. easter egg. Do you like to meet out in the middle here, or hang back? I like sneaking around the side to the yeah, satellite yeah. dishes. I kind of like going through and coming out coming out behind if I'm in an interceptor. Because then you can catch people who are also inside and take them out. But otherwise, you just get a nice flank. Oh. Got their support ship. Nice. Thank you for the resupply. Coming to try to regen you, Alex. I don't know. If yeah. I I, uh, oh no! I I screwed it up. No. It's all good. Who will heal the healers? Oh, I got him. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't hit that. Ooh. Ooh, that was close. I saw that. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> All right, drummer boy, five thousand. <laughs> oh, I think this guy's closer. Yeah, Whoops. rogue senpai is closer. Get back in there. I got a resupply for you. I'll come to you. I'm close. Our buddy's in trouble. Oh, he's he's very dead. Very dead. Got one. Focus fire here. Defense. Are we? Dang. Yep. That is nothing but scrap. Oh yeah. I need some healing. I can't find you. Like I'm when I cycle, I'm not, I'm not seeing you. Oh, I, mean, I am back at our our cruisers. Looks like a uh, bunch of X-Wings and A-Wings. I don't see any Y-Wings yet. Got your melon coming. Yep. There. Ionizing this idiot. Uh -oh. Nice. Do you... Oh, you did resupply me. Thank you. I did. That's awesome. That's your target. Oh, we're crushing oh, There we go. You dare answer my territory, dude? <laughs> we were ah. laughing about the, uh, the oh, way. Oh, oh, Alex just stole that from you, Mel. How does that make you feel? Uh, oh, what no, I, I still do? got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but also, I'd feel proud. <laughs> <laughs> we're all on the no, same I'm team the here. The we're doing great. <laughs> oh, <Look at> oh. <laughs> oh, well, if it makes you I'm, feel oh, worse, no, I just squandered it. Oh no! You're too fast. I couldn't get it to you. You yeah, like literally flew away. Yeah, I was trying to escape. <laughs> if I we can get that Corvette, that should be almost enough morale or enough morale to get us to switch. Got it. Got one person on a bomber. Nice. All right. Good job. We attack. We ball. This guy's coming way Going too after... far. Yeah. Focus fire here. Uh, we still want. We, it's, it's good to have a reaper. There the we time. go. Like, always good to have a healer. Always good to have a healer. Okay. Rather than like, no, now change to a bomber and go on the attack. 
if we are lacking bombers, maybe. Like, if we can't stay alive anyways, it's probably worth it, but... Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm hit. Oh, no. I'm hit! Man. Oh, Lord! Oh, everyone's dying too fast! Uh, <laughs> should I stay on fighter? Uh, I'm gonna switch to bomber. You can stay on fighter. Okay, yeah, someone else is a bomber, so... Yeah, it's perfect. I got an assault shield. I got a proton bomb. Good to go. D is low on shield, so I'll probably go for that first. So with, uh, with the fighter, do you... Just kind of, do you focus on the fighters, the, the enemy fighters, or caps, or both? It's a little bit of both. It's a bit of multitasking. Like, if there's, uh, if I have the opportunity to kill somebody, like, they're in my sights, I just go for it. Otherwise, I tend to just, like, okay, like, gotta try and chip away at these shields, or okay. or anything like that. Oh, whoop! Coming, Mel, don't die, I'm 3,000 meters away. Uh -uh. If you fly back home, I got you. Going as fast as I can. Got you. It's on the way. Oh, thank you. Where's that Corvette at? There it is. That's your target. I'm on the guy that's on you, Mitch. That's beautiful. I love to hear that news. Oh no! I hit the cor ah, the Corvette. Whoops. <laughs> There's a Y wing coming. Well, I have my revenge. Switching back to a fight. Yeah. This Rogue Senpai guy is good. He's nine and two. Oh, jeez, man, they just uh, ripped me apart. He's going to the Corvette. Halfway. Whoa. Going down pretty quick. I'm here. It's down. Nice. Very nice. Focus fire here. Corvette eliminated. Good work. Good work. That guy buff? He is. Whoa. <laughs> Try to heal the other guy. Yeah, I was still that. I'm healing again. Uh, look, I'm amazing. not. <laughs> I'm not doing no, that just, on purpose. It's just beautiful timing. Every time I send one, you just come zipping in. <laughs> it's so good. Need that? That'll be mine. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this guy's parked on top of it. He's gotta die. He's dead. All right, our turn. Do you tend to, like, regroup, run back to the station, or the capital ship or anything to swap out, or do you just go in on attack while we have momentum? Situational, I think. Like, if, you, if you're momentum. in rough shape. But it's important that we check the map and make sure we're not alone. Because um, that will... It makes a difference if we can overwhelm them instead of kind of trickling in. Yeah. Oh, I just sent a thing over there. Okay. Frigid is halfway down. It's got 35. I think two of us are dead right now. Okay. Making another run on it. Uh, C, is, C is the target if you can get there instead. Oh, yeah. I've almost got C down. Or D, rather. Yes. Titan 4 is on a little journey at the MC-75 right now. Oh no. <laughs> He's got it. It's not me. I promise it's not me. <laughs> Flying as fast as I can towards D. Okay. Oh, buddy died. Inbound. 
Got one of them, I think. I got it. That's Healing a over decent there morale you. boost. I'm um, almost back to help. I was dead commuting from one to the other. <laughs> so slow. Gotta burn my engines. It's alright, if we can get this frigate, we're gonna get a huge buff to, nice. our, uh, to our morale. Can I get a, can I get a healerino there, Speed friend? Alive, yeah. Oh, you're dead, okay. That's okay. Yeah, I died. Okay, this. Oh, that beam. This one's so close. Come on, come on. I got it. Oh, did I get it? <laughs> I stole that for sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. It was my dying wish. Like Star Wars explained. Got that Nebula B. <laughs> <laughs> just like oh, I see it. I'll dumb fire a missile at it. Ah, oh, it's perfect. Had one health when I. Friggin' ate it. <laughs> Okay, I'm flying back in. Ugh, why does this- That, yeah, that just stopped, I saw that. Yeah, but the dude, it's because the dude flew away. He got too far, so it stopped at max range. Blah! Come back, dude. Ah. We are oh, I'm in rough shape. Morale. Oh, no! <laughs> One more kill, they're gonna go on the offensive. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're pushing forward. We can we can pick them off. Get ourselves another morale boost. Stay in the center there and try and kill those two people that are in the Probably center that. of the map. Trying to heal y'all. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's the one. That Nobody died. Ionizing this guy. Missiles launched. Oh. oh, thank you. Oh man, very I that. cool. Don't know. Ah. Ah. ah, shoot. And sneak. All these AI out here, really far out, begging to die. Easy kills. Whoa. Doing that. <laughs> I'm gonna go defend, eh? Uh, so oh I... boy. Oh boy. Y Wing coming in. Uh? Got me. Die, please. Die, please. Heal to down the Corvette. Very good. One cruiser gone. All right, it's their third attack run. It's bound to happen eventually. Yeah, we're doing we're doing great. We can we can do this. We can do this. Oh. This rogue senpai guy, man, he will not leave me alone. Come on, dead. Oh boy. Ooh, I'm trying to get the drum drummer boy. Oh, we're down Use a player some help. as well. Use oh, we help. are. Yeah, someone left. That's your oh, I made it! I made it to the hangar with four holes. Nice. Aha! <laughs> Back from the brink. Achievement unlocked. Nice. Fly wing there. Very cool. No. Oh, oh man. yeah. I got the Corvette, but I've died. Oh no! It's stop, only the two stop of them. hitting my star destroyer! Yeah, so all of y'all versus those two fighters. Okay, two more just spawned. Oh, senpai! Um, you got him. Good. Yeah. Stop noticing me, senpai. <laughs> Please, you're noticing me too much. Um, we're about to go on the attack. Should I change? Uh, what are you currently? Interceptor. Uh, no, you can stay. Just keep killing people as much as you can. Okay. I'll be a flex. Copy that. Ugh. Oh, did you go back inside? Whoa! Can't find you. Uh. Oh, there you are. Helping myself. I gotcha. Thanks. Yeah, dude. I'm 
damn. <laughs> that was just a murder. Sneaking around. Yeah. Love those satellite dishes. Oh, lord. Oh, this guy, this guy, this guy. He would, uh... <laughs> he's, he's requesting a death. I'm coming, I'm coming. He's ionized. Yeah, I actually think it's kind of good to try and trickle in a few kills on your way to the MC-75. It keeps your morale full when you start to lose lives against the ship itself. <laughs> I just want everyone to know I flew right by power systems and didn't attack it. I looked at it and I was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> Locus? <laughs> no. <laughs> Only murder. <laughs> Only murder all the time. All right, I'm going to see if I can uh, get that targeting system because that'll make my life easier. And I oh. want to do bombing runs. I'm down. Getting over there as fast as I can. Oh yeah, I just noticed as I'm looking at my cockpit that I easter egged my own characters. <laughs> I have the, uh, the Hass hologram. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Honestly, I was surprised there weren't more. There's, there's no, uh, to, Inferno Squad skins, or...? No, like, I wanted to be humble about it. Like, I didn't want to be like, Look, it's all the Battlefront stuff that you're, like... That, that felt weird to me a little bit, but... It was nice to be able to, like, <laughs> name-check Iden Versio in a way that's like... I'm Von Reg and I'm gonna kill her! Yeah, 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 I like that. Just like a, just like a one-and-done thing in the campaign that makes sense, but... I don't know, the more we kind of spotlight the other game, the less this feels like its own thing, I think. Oh, I'm that's so fair. screwed. I'm gonna change because I'm not getting enough done in the uh, the Reaper to justify it. Like I'll get a couple heals and then I'm dead. That's fair. Yeah. In which case, not, uh, a flex or a bomber is great. Yeah, I'm in a bomber. Here I come. Oh. Why wing here? This guy. Yeah, he's gotta go. Oh, Rogue Senpai. Please, no more noticing. <laughs> Can't take it. Oops. Uh, attack enemy squad. Now. Got him. Target teammates. Nice, nice Another kill. Another Y-Wing. There's somebody in the very back of the Star Destroyer. Under attack. He's trying to get the shield generators. Uh, shh. There's a guy underneath as well. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go for I'll, the guy up top. I'll go for the guy underneath. Uh, there's... Okay. <laughs> Got the guy behind, very cool. Oh, he got it. Shoot. Oh no, there's a Corvette here. Yes, that's gotta go too. I'm roasting what I can. Okay. I'm on the Corvette. It's almost down. That should be enough to switch. Okay, no! we are attack. Nice, I died. I will respawn in a bomber and come to y'all. Perfect. I got really lucky when I beamed. I was I just came under its shield. Oh, drummer boy doesn't know they're well, not supposed to go that way. <laughs> See ya, dude. They're all dead. They're all dead. Okay, one. Spawn. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna respawn. Yeah. Means they're Real all quick. gonna come up by the time we no! get No! I died on the way back into the hangar. No. no! <laughs> this guy's too far out. I'm going for him. Never mind. Oh, oh damn! Arrows. I just got ripped apart. No. I strongly prefer you in one piece. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna try and help with Rogue Rabbit. Just coming up behind him. Drummer boy is getting uh, a little bit roasted right now. It's not enough. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, there's two weak points on the top. I gotta go for Ooh, those. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Go, go, go. I think we can get some good damage in on this run. Oh, I missed. We need to, because I think they'll kill us next time. Oh, Lord. Did I get the. I got the targeting. Targeting, targeting stand. Nice. That's oh, it's helpful. Health shields. Oh, jeez. Man, yeah. Senpai. <laughs> right? Man, dude. Senpai. Relax. Right, we're, we're okay. We've got a lot of health, but. We have to protect those weak points, so let's try and find oh, them God. on our Star Destroyer. Kill people before they get too close. Mmm. That's smart. <laughs> Never thought of that. <laughs> oh, yeah, we get those too. We do! <laughs> They're just attacking us. <laughs> they don't care about the defensive phase. They're like, we're gonna win. 
Well, right. we are on Corvette. defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just meant they were on the on the attack before oh, that. Yeah. They were, they were yeah. confident. They were, they were confident. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be costly for them. Get back here, rabbit. Aha! Uh -huh. Wiped out. Y wing there. Ooh. Who's There's that? two breach points on the bottom of our ship. FYI. So if you see people going to the bottom, prioritize them. Copy that. Corvette, very low. They our nice. All right. So their targeting's down. That'll be hugely helpful. Oh, they got ours too after the turn. Oh shoot. Okay, it's so fine. We can second. go on the attack and then take them out. Yeah. Uh, are those two breach points? Yeah, they're gone. So that's perfect. Well, I fairly desperately need health. Oh! Oh, okay. They lost on. Came to a screeching halt under the MC-75, which was not my goal. Been there. Oh! Okay. Dealt a decent amount to the hull. I'm gonna switch to a bomber, because I feel like we can chunk this guy down. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Is it a good idea to just like, because I'm about to respawn, should we all yeah, just yeah. bomb it all up? Let's, in, go. let's go. Let's do all bombers. Let's do it. <laughs> all bombers all the time. All right. <laughs> Your team has no support ships. I know. We know. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any weak spots to look out for? I think we got them all. We might dude, not need them. MC, leave me alone, dude. Do you just go like full speed? Yeah. Everything right. in the engines, use your assault shield, go. Goal for power. Do you boost in too? Power's down. Nice, Mitch. He points her up. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I emergency boost or the power converter boost. Oh no. No, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's fine. Oh, we did it. Yay. Yay. Nice. We did it. All bombers all Look the time. All those bombers. <laughs> Only four players, baby. Honestly, we did like a, a four bomber and one support ship run the other night, and we won quite a few games. It's fun. <laughs> if you can fly them, like if you can really move in them, they're powerful, man. But <laughs> I feel like I always want Mel on an interceptor on my team. <laughs> that is fair. <laughs> All right, that feels like a good one to end on. <laughs> nice. Like yeah, we did good. We did a good job. And a level up. I get to go buy a legendary. <laughs> Feeling good. Well, thanks so much for it. doing this with me. Being guinea pigs. Oh, thanks for having us. Thanks this for having lovely. Us, I'm um, <laughs> sorry, I, I misspoke about the scale of the ships. I feel bad. Oh, no, that. you're fine. <laughs> uh, where can everyone uh, find you online? What do you got going on now? Let everyone know. Let see. What is my Twitter handle? My Twitter handle <laughs> is Mel Rambles. Uh, and you can, you can find me there. Uh, at some point, I will be talking about uh, what I'm working on currently in terms of uh, a game, and I'm really excited to talk about that. So... Keep an eye out for someday soon, TM. <laughs> uh, and I'm Mitchie D on Twitter, uh, which is basically all I do now is just spend most of my time on Twitter because I quit my job and uh, now I'm freelancing. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Freelance <laughs> life. Star Wars with y'all. Great. Well, yeah, I, anytime you want to play, I'm here all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was delightful. I'd be down to play some more just for like for funsies <laughs> awesome yeah i mean I'm, I'm like soaking up everything you're saying like yeah teach me <laughs> <laughs> uh but thank you everyone for watching along with us uh we'll i'm gonna try to do this and kind of figure out this format but uh thanks for watching may the force be with you force be with you <laughs>